Close 218,000 people died in the U.S. from prescription opioid overdoses in the past two decades. That's according to the CDC. But doctors say a new wireless pain relieving device could be a good alternative. Now on your site's Veronica Vernaccio caught up with the first doctor to use this device right here in Tucson. By sticking this needle into the epidural space of a patient's back, then placing a small wireless device called a lead, Dr. Chad Plutnick is able to help relieve chronic pain from patients. It's a way that we can uh, take care of pain without having to use opiate medications, which have their own side effects and problems. It's called the Freedom Spinal Cord Simulation System. It works by sending electrical signals into the spinal cord and disrupting pain signals. All the power is delivered through the skin with an external battery and antenna system. The implant procedure itself is as minimally invasive as you can get for a spinal cord simulator system because we don't need to implant a battery with this system. Because he says this device is wireless, this helps chronic pain patients who sometimes are experiencing pain for years. That pain would shoot up my back and it would constantly get me to bend over, to stretch it, to make it go away. Norman Nesselrose says he had the pain from working as a police officer for 40 years. He first got surgery to try and relieve it, but when that didn't work, he went to Dr. Plutnik, who suggested this new surgery. He then got the procedure done in February. All the things that I was doing uh, that I wasn't able to do, I'm doing again. Dr. Plutnik says he's been using this device since 2017 and will continue to increase usage as the success continues. Veronica Vernaccio, KGA 9 on your side.